Hello and welcome to what's new in Microsoft 365 and Teams for the last two weeks of September. I'm Mark Thompson from Super Simple 365 and I'm going to take you through updates for OneDrive, Outlook, Teams and a couple from around 365. As you can see, it's been a bit of a quieter period. But let's see what we've got. Let's start with OneDrive and just very quickly, this new activity column that's going to show you what's been happening on a file that you've shared. It's been pushed back a little bit. I still don't know what this looks like. I do apologize. It is now due mid to late October, so any time now, actually. And this new sharing drop down, let me just show you where I'm talking about here. This new drop down, this little tiny bit here, this is the new part, gives you nice, easy access to sharing your links, copying your links, and managing your access. That last one is probably the most helpful, I think. Anyway, push back a little bit to uh, mid November ish. And quickly moving on to Outlook. Loop components. So, loop components in Outlook, I think is amazing remember i told you last time that it's also coming to the whiteboard soon but get back get back to this outlook it has appeared in um outlook online so you can use it there if you want to and it is coming to the desktop version of outlook as well so what we're looking at so the uh, November to late December, I wouldn't be surprised folks, by the time it gets through to your company, you're looking at into next year. Now, you can see here on this screenshot that the uh, the loop component is at the bottom of this compose area, and actually, remember me telling you uh, last time that the, the main controls for Outlook are going to the top of your email, so when you see this on the online version, I wouldn't be surprised if actually you have it at the top of your email and you see it drop down, uh, but we'll see how this looks when it comes to the full fat version of Outlook. Looking forward to uh, to these, the new uh, loop components that we're gonna see as well. Also, don't forget big conference in the next few days. It'd be interesting to see, uh, next week or so, it'd be interesting to see where it, uh, anything any news about the loop uh, application, I got there eventually, the, the loop application and anything else about loop that's gonna come out of the next couple of weeks. Anyway, due at the end of the year, maybe. Moving on to Teams, flying through it this time. Collaborating in Teams uh, with Excel Live. So you might, you might already be used to presenting stuff in Microsoft Teams. So what's gonna happen is, uh, over on the right hand side of here, and you can see that actually we've already gone past that point. Let's just zoom in. So over here on the, on the right hand side, this is where you would be um, uh, choosing to, 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 share, to share your screen. Let's just go through this. So in a meeting, you open the share tray over on the right hand side, scroll down to Excel Live, you're gonna have this new section, um, and then you can pick an Excel spreadsheet, uh, or you can navigate to one. Uh, and what I love about this is that you don't have to share the link and then they open it, they'll be able to edit your spreadsheet right on the screen. So right on that, on that pane that they're looking at, uh, they'll be able to edit uh, on there, which I think is gonna be awesome. So hop over to the, uh, to the blog if you want a bit more information about that. But I think that XR Live, I think is just another amazing update. So let's see what's happening on here now. So this is the unread only toggle in the activity feed. Let me roll that backwards so you can see what's going on here. So you can see here that we are showing only uh, unread items, let's just zoom in on there for you. So we've got this new toggle there, unread. So you know, right now, you know you can filter um, and you can get to your unread stuff. And I love it. When I'm talking to people about taming their activity feed, I often talk about uh, looking at the app mentions first, that cleans up a lot of stuff, and then looking at the unread items. And the unread items is, so this is the nearest thing you're gonna to get to clearing your inbox in, uh, in Teams. So the fact that it's being brought to the front, I think is real nice. Anyway, so this person is working through their their, their, their messages, are working through it, working through it, and then you have this very satisfying screen that's coming up saying you are all cut, all caught up. So for Teams users who feel like it's just this never-ending bombardment of, of activity feed, of chat, of whatever else, I think this is going to be super popular. And of course, you can already get to there if, if you want to. Look out for that early to late November this year. Cannot wait. I think that is an awesome change. Teams calendar, so the scheduling form pop out is another good one. So not a lot to talk about this week, but the, the XR Live, that the last one about the, the slider and this pop out, I think there's a really nice update. So what do we have? So when you're creating a new meeting, sometimes you start creating it and then you need to just go and check something else or just check what someone said or just see what you're gonna put in. You have to move away from the screen. And it's just, it's not obviously the end of the world. It's just annoying. Um, 
now creating a new, a new uh, appointment, it'll pop out. So you can navigate around in Teams and you can keep this window open if you want to. Now, we're gonna get this new little button here. Let's zoom in, this is an existing meeting. So we can just pop that out as well, which is awesome. Uh, due late October to late November this year. So another one I can't wait for. Okay, some quick updates. A detailed core history feature update. So let's just zoom in on here. What have we got? You can see here, we can see uh, the mist and forwarded to voicemail. It just gives you more information about that call. So if you are uh, big into the detail of your calling, uh, look out for that uh, later this month. Uh, starting a Teams chat from a distribution group, put back a little bit, and but, but it should be here by the end of the month. Um, expanded reactions in Microsoft Teams. I feel like I was taught, telling you about this like forever ago, and it kind of went away, and now it's come back. So there you go. So instead of just having the, um, what do we have at the moment? The smiley face, the frowny face, the thumbs up, the grumpy face. Or something like that. Anyway, there's six of them, right? So now you're going to get access to a full 800 or so. Um, there's no controls on that, so you, you're going to get it. Uh, look out for that mid-November to late December. Although this seems like it's been like knocking around forever, doesn't it? So we'll see whether we do in fact get that this year. What else do we have? Schedule send for Microsoft Teams chats. Told you about this last week. I apologize for the state of this uh, screenshot, folks. But let's zoom in. It doesn't bear zooming in on, does it? But so we are right clicking on the send button and then we can schedule our send maybe to go at eight o'clock on Monday morning because we respect people's time and we don't want to, uh, we, we don't want things popping up at the weekend for, or in the evening for people. Um, if you run your teams in preview mode, you already have this and this works real nice. If you don't know what I'm talking about in preview mode, go to the blog and do a quick search for preview. I've got a little tutorial there for you. So anyway, for the rest of us, that is coming out by uh, late November. Uh, I really like it. So this, I've seen some debate on Twitter about uh, about about this feature and work hours and and whatnot. But I, I, I generally generally speaking, I think it's a good feature. Okay, so ones to watch. I'll tell you more about these near the time. But the creation of contact groups in the calls app that looks quite nice. Payments in Microsoft Teams, the ability to take payments for uh, a session or something that you're running inside inside a session, and approvals as PDFs can be saved, printed, and moved. So if, um, I don't know, maybe you got a decision or approval that you, you, that you need to, for whatever reason in your industry or your company, you need to, to, to maybe keep a record of that. Um, that is due in October, to October, November for those three. I wouldn't be surprised if they get pushed back a bit. I will tell you more about those when I get more details. They've only just popped up on um, the, the roadmap in the last couple of weeks or so. Okay, so we are getting through this quickly. The grid view for assigned to me in Planner. Uh, now due October maybe, so we'll see about that. I'm looking forward to that. I, I use Planner all the time. And uh, those, the, those assigned to me, uh, views, any, any changes to those, uh, I'd, I'd really like to see. What else do we have? Upload and manage files in the stream web app. So the ability to upload um, videos and manage videos and copy them and move them inside the, uh, the, the browser app coming in October. So that, uh, um, look, look out for, uh, for that, for that um, the stream app, getting a lot of love from Microsoft at the moment. Okay, so. Okay, what do we have? We are about done, folks. So, real quick one. Remember, you can keep up on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. So I'll go to the website, get uh, notified of the full update. So, all the things I've talked about, you can see those on the blog in much more detail if you want to. Now, I am, you can see the subtle sticker on the screen. I'm getting close to a 1,000 subscribers. It's taking me so long to get there. This is not the, uh, the world's most exciting topic and it's useful but not exciting so it's taken a long time to get to a thousand and i'm not quite there but folks if you're watching this on youtube most people are watching it aren't subscribed i'd really appreciate it just trying to put that last little push so if you can help me out subscribe that'd be great um, if not it's nice to have you along anyway folks we're done for now hope to see you in a couple of weeks